They thought she would fall apart when Donald Trump, her former husband, walked away. But Ivana Trump did not fall. In fact, it's hard to believe she even stumbled. She is a woman who has proven that one should not waste your time on anything that doesn't give you pleasure, peace, or money. One of her big pleasures in life was in sports. We want to welcome you, first of all. This is probably uh, one of the many things that you're asked to do, to speak to groups and to encourage them. Uh, how do you feel you're encouraging a, a group of golf players? Um, <laughs> but of course, you're said. very athletic, so uh, I shouldn't say that, but anyway. As you said, you know, I'm an athlete. I love, I actually have a master's degree for physical education and languages from Charles University in Prague. So I love all the sports and, and the and the golf is it's one of them, you know. I, mean, I play golf because I had, actually I started, I had no choice. You know, in Czech Republic, we didn't have the golf courses when I was around. And, uh, but when I came to America, I started to play because my ex is an excellent golfer. So I play with him here and there, and in uh, Palm Beach, I play a little bit. But I'm not that great, but it's fun. It's fresh mm -hmm. air and, and beautiful, you know, areas, and I like to walk. It's nice. I'm glad you used the term beautiful because, of course, you've been told that many, many times. But even though you're told that, it's not, it just doesn't come. I mean, the things that you do to keep beautiful, what are some of those things? Well, you know, it takes me longer and longer every morning <laughs> to look beautiful, if you know how I feel. Uh, it's just, I think you have to be happy. And I'm constantly, you know, I keep my mind busy. Uh, I read papers, I read magazines, I see what are the trends. Not necessarily all of them are for me. And, and as I'm an athlete, you know, I really, I exercise every day. And I'm very good with my diet. I don't like sweets, which I'm very lucky. <laughs> but I blow it on the pate <laughs> and the cheese. So I have my weaknesses in there. But basically, it's really taking care of yourself and, uh, and do everything in moderation. We met Ivana at the ShopRite Golf Classic Luncheon at the Seaview Resort in Atlantic City. This tall, attractive, self-made, and self-assured woman told us how she turned hard work and faith into being role model for women everywhere. Now, a lot of people might have thought, well, when she gets divorced from Mr. Trump, that she's not going to appear on the scene anymore. You have done everything. And I guess that comes also from your background and your training. It again, you know, I came from the communist country, and uh, we really had to try harder. I had a... I had a, all, I have a great education, fabulous parents. Uh, uh, I always love to work. Uh, I am... I was al always, and I am competitive. You cannot beat in sports. You know, you have number one, you have, you're competitive, otherwise you don't win the race. And it doesn't stop when you stop skiing. You know, it goes with you through the life. I also have great confidence in myself that I can do. I also have a tre tremendous discipline. And it all comes really from the sports. It's a background of that. And of, of course, intelligence, you know, and uh, university degree, that doesn't hurt either. <laughs> I have a sneaky feeling it also has to do with the country you came from. Mm -hmm. Do you think there was less laxity there than here? You know, I, my, my father was, was architect and my mom was homemaker. Uh, we never been hungry, but you in, in those countries under communistic regime, you really could not excel. They would go and give you free education. You go to university, you went through university, and then they would keep you in level. They would not let you excel, and they would not let people, which were not that fortunate, to be poor. So it was very, very hard in the balance, but I was very fortunate because I had a talent in skiing, and I was able from age of about 8 to 10. I was on national ski team for the kiddies, and then junior, and eventually on Olympic team. I was able to go to the West and see that there's a better life up there. Mm. And, and that motivated me to say, when I finish, my university, one way or the other, I'm going to leave the country and I'm going to go and, and you know, go to land of freedom and opportunity. And here I am. Well, certainly it's <laughs> Czechoslovakia's loss, our gain, Miss Ivana Trump. And she's just getting started. You'll hear more about Ivana Trump. This is Trudy Haynes for Happenings.